Hello dear friends, today we will talk about the flamethrowing vehicle of the Third Reich, Flampanzer 38T. There are two versions of how this machine was invented at the end of 1944. According to the first one, some German officials considered the jagged Panzer 38T insufficiently effective against enemy tanks and decided to equip it with flamethrowers. According to the second version, the design of these flamethrower tanks was developed exclusively for the Ardennes Offensive, also known as the Battle of the Bulge. The first version is perhaps not very believable, but there is no firm confirmation of both of them. The Czech company was commissioned to design and build the Flame Panzer 38-2. The Germans wanted to see a minimum of changes made to the design. Considering the cramped fighting compartment of the basic vehicle, it was not a very good idea to add a flamethrower and the accompanying equipment. They chose the latest version of the Flemen Waffe 41, which had only to be modified a little bit and it could be equipped on the tank. This flamethrower was placed on the back of a soldier and was used by the infantry. Using pyro ammunition, it was able to throw fire at a distance of up to 32 meters. So the gun and ammunition of Flame Panzer 38-2 were changed for a flamethrower in a protective shell and a 700-liter tank of fuel and tanks with compressed nitrogen. The number of pyro ammunition was increased to 24, which allowed to fire 24 bursts and to maintain a continuous flamethrowing for up to 87 seconds. Thanks to the new equipment, the range became around 50 meters. The crew also consisted of four people. In addition to the flamethrower, each crew member had personal firearms. And there was a standard machine gun on the board. Less often it was placed outside. In December 1944, the manufacturer handed over to the Germans 20 units of Flame Panzer 38-2. In the same month, they took part in the Ardenne Offensive. According to the plan of the German offensive operation, the Flem Panzers had to support other equipment on rough terrain and in settlements. To combat the enemy's armored vehicles, Flem Panzer 38T could be hidden in a hideout and from a short distance pour a fire mixture on the enemy's tank to set it on fire. Except that the Allies went on the offensive and the Germans found themselves in a defensive position. And as we know, flamethrowing tanks, which is offensive armament, are ineffective in defense. Many survived vehicles became trophies for Americans. During the battle, it became clear that the protective shell of the flamethrower was so fragile that it was deformed by bullets and shrapnel, making the weapon unusable. Some units of the Flem Panzer 38-2 were taken back by the Germans and used during the Balaton operation in 1945. The machines were used there only to support infantry, but the German offensive failed. The last Flem Panzer 38-T examples were destroyed. None of these trucks survived to this day. That's all for today. If you enjoyed the video, please support it with your likes and don't forget subscribe to the channel. See you all later!